Okay, so here is how you make baklava. What you need to have is one package of phyllo dough, two cups of finely chopped walnuts, tablespoon of cinnamon, half a cup of sugar, which you're going to quickly mix together. You also need a small paintbrush, like a one inch paintbrush, a nine by 13 metal pan, it's important that the pan is not glass. And I have a couple of sticks of melted butter. Okay, so first, I'm going to unroll the phyllo dough. And you have to be careful with this dough because it's paper thin. Thus the term phyllo, which means leaf in Greek. This dough is ready to go. And... You want to keep the butter close to the pan because otherwise you make a huge mess. So first you're just going to butter the bottom of the pan quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. The idea here is to work as fast as you can before the dough dries out. So you're going to start with buttering quickly. You're going to go at six layers buttered of phyllo dough. It doesn't have to be perfect when it cooks at all works out even if you've got some ripples it's no problem if the dough tears you can patch it no problem just make sure you get some butter all around the edges and a couple of quick paints across the top if you are not paying attention and you do more than six not a problem that's just the average amount you put on the bottom layer of the baklava okay I think I'm looking at four right now. And you really just wanna use the oily part of the butter. The, uh, the milk part that's at the bottom doesn't serve any purpose. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more because I lost the count. And then when you've got your six layers in the bottom, you're going to sprinkle a fairly even layer of the cinnamon sugar walnut mix. And then, all right, I'm having trouble with these two right here. Another layer on top. It's harder to put the butter on when the nuts are underneath. So you have to put your fingers on to keep it from moving. All right. Two layers, another layer of nuts. Again, none of this has to look perfect. Once it's baked, it all comes together and is lovely. So you're gonna do alternate four layers of the nut mixture with two layers of buttered dough in between. turning it around because I think I'm getting too much butter in the corner closest to the butter. Stop it. <clears throat> so what I'm going to say is that I'm going to... Okay, so I've got all my layers of cinnamon and nut mixture. And now I'm going to put eight buttered layers on the top, just the same as we did the six on the bottom. You just have to be a little bit more careful because of the, it's, it's just more difficult with the nuts underneath. So anyway, I'll see you back in a second. Okay, Kai, once you've got your baklava finished and all painted over well with the butter, you need to cut it before you bake it, because if you don't, there is no way you will be able to cut it. 
So baklava is traditionally cut into diamond shapes. So to make that, you're going to start with about a two inch cut. You don't have to go all the way through, but you definitely want to go at least through all of the top. And again, push down with your fingers to keep the layers from coming up as you cut. I like to sometimes cut the edge off also so that in the final piece, when you cut it at the end, it will be smooth. Okay, so we've got it sliced this way. Now you're going to slice on a diagonal, not like a square, but straight across on a diagonal. And you can make them as big or small as you want, but just remember, two bites of baklava is usually enough. Stop. And I'm just finishing up. Okay, so when it's done, it should look like that. And it's okay if the edges are sticking up and everything, because they'll do that as they cook anyway. So at this point, you're going to take this pan and put it in a 275 degree oven for one hour. And we'll be back. I love you, Mia. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like when it comes out of the oven. And Mimi says that if the top is not brown, stick it back in the oven, uh, broil it for another five minutes, I think. Hold on, I'll ask her. Yes, it was broiled for another five minutes, just like I said. baklava syrup two cups of sugar one cup of honey one and a half cups of water boil for 15 minutes okay so we're gonna pour that directly over the baklava which is cold all the way and outside for two hours I'm going to pour the syrup over the baklava it looks like a big flood but that's normal because it's going to soak it up and go ahead and use it all And there you go. So you're going to let it sit like this for a couple of hours while it soaks up the honey and then we'll be back to portion it. Okay, so we're just let this soak for a couple of hours and now I'm just going all again through the score marks and cutting all the way through to the bottom so that each piece can easily be removed. And at that point you're going to need these which are foil muffin cups. If you just buy the paper ones, the honey is going to soak right through. So let me grab my remover, <laughs> pie server it is actually, and you're going to take a piece out. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. Take a piece out. That's what it looks like dripping with honey. And you're going to put it right in there and that's it finished enjoy nom, 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 nom. and then when you're all done I'll come over and do all the dishes for you <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas